uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, it's time for a fresh take on an old friend. This is the Conway, the tier 9 British TD, and I'm playing this tank because I've been grinding this line. I'm actually at the FE4005 as we speak. Had a couple of big games in it, and there'll be a video coming on the FE later on. I wanted to do that because when I did the original videos for this tank, the Charioteer and Co., they were very different tanks, and I wanted to update the guides. But more importantly, they weren't tanks that I ground because I played them on my press account. This is the Bushka account that I play on here on the Asia server. Um, and I want to take a moment to talk about a couple of things to do with this tank particularly, which made it very, very exciting for me. Uh, it's a Hesh gun that I'm running here, the T10 Hesh gun. There are two guns. There is the 120mm L1A1, which is a standard T10 TD gun. 3300 DPM, massive DPM. 259mm of AP pen, 326mm of APCR pen. Uh, but you lose your special hash round. And the special hash round is what made this tank fun for me. It's 200 millimeters of hash pen with 670 average alpha. Your AP pen on this thing is 260. The other gun, it must be said also, goes down to 400 alpha as an AP round. And for me, that just made the tank both boring to play and removed a lot of the options well the optionality of this tank with Hesh is far more exciting what it did make the tank better at is this kind of gameplay style now this is the most boring game of any of the games I played with the Conway it's the highest damage game but it's the reason I'm showing you this is this tank excels in this style at tier 9 and when you're flogging tier 8s and tier 9 tanks and you've got 200 millimeters of hash pen, you can do great things. With 260 millimeters of pen, you can do great things. But this is not the way I play this tank. Most of the time with this tank, I play it close to the front line. I play it either as a front line TD with a great turret and the ability to move super quick thanks to that enhanced engine boost consumable. The uh, improved engine boost is a 40% to engine power, plus five kilometers an hour to forward speed, and plus 10 kilometers an hour to reverse speed. And it is the nuts for moving this thing. Uh, if you've played a T30, you'd know what a turreted TD is like, how valuable it can be, because it's so much easier to get shots in a turreted TD. But this thing runs rings around a T30. It's so much better in a straight line than a T30, and it takes off quicker than a T30. The Hesh gun, though, is far less accurate. It's 0.33 dispersion versus about 0.29 dispersion. So you've got one high DPM, high rate of fire gun, which requires a lot more time on target to exert its influence. And one gun that is reasonable DPM, you're just a shade under 3K, but your rate of fire is far slower. It's actually very suited. You can see 12.8 seconds reload, okay? So that means you fire the shot, you pull back, you completely reload, and then you move forward, and you've reset your camo. I also run this with a camo net. Like, legit, I will run front line with a camo net in this tank and just farm some stuff up. I ran it primarily solo. Uh, nearly all the games I had in it were solo. I had a lot of 5K, 5.5K games in this. And then I also, because at tier 10, you're running a Hesh gun with only 200 millimeters of pen. I had a lot of 500, 1500 damage games in this. Um, it's the standard fare of Blitz. You're a little bit different in that the ceiling on this tank is extraordinarily high, but the floor is also very, very low, and you're far more likely to hit that floor. But 714 alpha rounds uh, are fun to hit, and your max damage alpha roll on your premium ammunition is 880 and when you hit a max damage Enemy it's a lot of fun destroyed. so that's six and a half k of boring and intolerable gameplay now let's have a look at a couple of games where i took you through the gameplay style that i'm really i really enjoy with this tank and it's a bit weird to say that because this tank has bad armor 
Like the armor profile on this tank will not be something that you write home to your kids and your wife about and say, ah, oh, darling, we were up against it today, but the good old Conway bounced some shots and we came away a winner. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That is not going to be what happens. Um, what will happen is you'll be like, I gave angle to a tier 10 tank and he cleaned my clock. Um, that is going to be what, what happens to you. You can run spore liner, okay? Which is good news. You have 139 millimeters on your frontal armor. You have, like, that's your sloped armor around the gun mantlet. If you're playing same tier TDs and heavies, ooh, that's going to hurt. Like an E75 will just go straight through you, right? It, it just, there's, there's no way around it. You're going to get absolutely whomped by a tank like an E75. Everywhere at the front is green. And the E75 isn't like the best pen ever, you know? You really got to be careful that you run spore liner and you don't give angles. And look where I am in this tank. I'm right in the middle of the map. Uh, and I'm going to go further forward. And this is where it excels. And you see how the synchronicity between your 12 and a half second reload or 12.8 second reload and your camo reset. And it's actually pretty funny that that char needs to go down. And I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste that multi-kit because I don't have more than one kit. Like I've got one track repair. So you've got to be very, very careful. And you've got to count tanks that are in front of you. Something that I only really came to late in the game with this tank was the fact that you have a low damage Hesh round, right? Um, a 670 Alpha Hesh round. But you do have another uh, ammo type in there. You've got your high explosive, but it's not like a special Hesh round. You've just got a much higher damage Hesh round that has 70 millimeters of pen. So if you run that round, you'll do a 770 Alpha shot. And there are certain tanks like that Caliban where there will be opportunities to use a 770 Alpha gun. Gotcha. Same tier tanks, you can just pen all day with AP though. And it's very, very comfortable. This is what I mean about having a turret on a TD is so cool. You can get shots and I was going to take a shot before the SU-130 rolled on in. You can play very aggressively with this tank. You can use it for all kinds of different ways and purposes. Uh, but it is a derpy gun. 0.33 dispersion is not great. 2,814 DPM, 0.33 dispersion. When you max this out, you can uh, basically, if you want to go 40 kilometers an hour, you can. But with your engine boost, you can get up to 45, which is pretty, wall, pretty cool. Um, your power to weight ratio isn't incredible. Uh, but you've really got to compare it more to other tier 9 TDs. So your power to weight ratio effectively factoring in terrain resistance and horsepower per ton is 16. That's the same as a waffle tractor. You've got the same kind of mobility as a waffle tractor, but both the top speed you have and the waffles is the same, but you have that crazy engine boost. You're much more mobile across all terrain than a T-30. The T-30 is nearly there on good terrain, but on medium and soft terrain, the T-30 is horrific. And you beat the waffle tractor once you start off riding. If you're on grass or dirt or going through water, you're faster than the waffle. And all this comes with 10 degrees of gun depression. It is somewhat insightful that I sold the Charioteer, but I didn't sell the Conway once I got to T10 because I found this really, really suited the way I played the game. So that was another first class, 5.6K that time. Now I'm going to show you the mastery game. And it, it really is a very different play style. Like this is T10 and this is where you're going to struggle. And one of the reasons why I play frontline with this tank so often is you're going to run into tanks like Type 71s, Mouses, uh, you know, Kranwagens, even T110 E5s and 60 TPs. And your opportunities to hit pinpoint shots on those tanks at standard TD range are not great. They're not great. You've got to hit weak points, right? 
And those weak points are not going to really be available to you at extraordinary long ranges. Now, you're going to see me just abuse and exploit my camo net here, right? I will be doing a lot of camo net stuff. And I will be reloading and then rolling forward. I give them a chance to put a blind shot into these bushes. And then I roll forward. And we wait. Now, you've got 0.33 dispersion. You've got a camo net. You've got a trust in it. Otherwise, you won't get any shots off. And that was a pinpoint shot on that T95. But that's the kind of shots you've got to hit on the mouse and the Type 71 every single time. Because you cannot pen those tanks once they start face-hugging you at all. Look at this. I've hit nothing. I'm taking shots on the reload. I'm not spotted all the time because the rule of two bushes and a camo net means I've got very, very good stealth. And I'm just waiting. That's fine. You've got to be sneaky because if you're not speaky, you're going to be in trouble. And your camo's not great. Um, it's stock standard for this tier. Same as a T30. 15% standard camo rating. Um, waffles at 30%. And you just got to really take your time with this tank and reset after every shot. But you know, I'm getting a lot of shots off. It just... If I was using the other gun, I'd be running 400 alpha. And when you start feeling it, when you start working the numbers, you can do good things. I'm not happy that we've got so many tanks up the back there, but, you know, it is what it is. Just got to wait for it to happen and move back. We're just working this bush line. Remember, like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't liked, subscribed, and commented, why haven't you? Go and say something in the chat. Hi, guys. My name is Phil. I'm from Wisconsin, and I drive trams for a living. Um... Look at this. Resetting camo. 12.8 seconds. Let it completely calm down and wait before you do anything. Don't overextend. Like, let them come to you. If you push it with this tank, you can really end up in trouble. Mesh round. 623. Pretty solid. Low roll, but you take it when you can get it. And we're now at 3k. And we're just grinding away. Taking them down. I put two games up last night of me and the Conway. And in both games, I spent a lot of time at the front of the line. Um, one of them was 5.6K, I think, or 5K. One of them was 4.6K. I've had so many nice, solid, big damage games in this tank that I had to cut a bunch of 5K games to actually put them in here. Because I just thought these were the best, most obvious, clearest indications of how you should be playing this gun this Hesh gun on the Conway. You can always just sit at the back with a high DPM, high penetration, APCR firing, 400 alpha gun. But you can do that in so many tanks. Like, play a tank that does something a little bit different. Play something with just a little point, a little guilty pleasure, okay? That's what the Conway gives you. I don't think it needs to be buffed. I sure don't think it's a bad tank. I sure don't think it's got any problems at all. And I also don't think it's overpowered. It's one of the most nicely balanced tanks I think you can find in the game. With the way Power Creep has gone and how much you have to really work your game to be effective at tier 10, it's actually quite a nice little rumble. There's War Daddy from uh, the Rota Nova boys and girls. Good on your War Daddy. Good to see you in game. Um, uh, Red, good boys, good girls. Uh, that's the Conway. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, there's lots more coming. There's an E75 review coming because I have not played the E75 for quite some time. And I played it yesterday and uh, it was pretty good. It feels like a tier 10 tank. Again, it's like we've come full circle. The E75 once was a god, then wasn't. He's now again. Well done. Um, look after yourselves. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're enjoying these little hitouts, then uh, why not say so in the comments and tell us what you'd like to see. And maybe we can add a little bit of what you'd like to watch shaken up in here. Au revoir, amigos. Until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.